Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT can now see, hear, and speak. Ever since Chat GPT came on the scene, one of the biggest questions on everyone's mind is how can I use Chat GPT to make money? Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ross Flutterjohn. I'm a former developer turned content creator where I share all my tips, tricks, and resources on how you can scale your agency and business. It's no secret that AI has completely taken over pretty much every single industry and is definitely not slowing down. But while the speed of AI and adoption of AI is increasing, the realistic capabilities of what this stuff can actually do starting to become more and more clear as people actually use and implement this stuff into their existing business. And there's basically two camps of how AI actually works and how people like you and me can actually use it to make money in different ways. There's conversational AI and generational AI or content generation AI. Content generation AI are simply platforms that will generate content based off of a condition or a prompt. Other similar platforms could be Jasper AI, Copy AI, basically any platform that's going to take in a text prompt and then return a generated piece of content. And with the latest models that we're seeing now, that could also include imagery, audio, and now video with OpenAI's latest Sora demo. So if you somehow launched your own content generation AI platform, and a lot of people actually did this using no-code platforms like Bubble.io, you probably made a killing and maybe still are making a good amount of money. But for the rest of us, this can be kind of difficult as we're like, okay, well, now I need to like build this whole new thing. <laughs> and that's where the other side, conversational AI comes into play. And this is gonna be truly the bread and butter of where the money lies in AI, especially if you're a freelancer, run an agency or wanna start an agency, or if you just just want to augment your own responsibilities so that way you can enhance your workflow. Like I said earlier, AI is not slowing down. Every single company in the entire world is going to use AI in some way, shape, or form within the next five to 10 years. And every single one of those companies is going to need someone to help them build and implement this AI into their company. And this is where the big opportunity lies, helping businesses adopt AI so that way they can reap the benefits while you take a small percentage and cut of their savings. A really good example of this is Klarna. They just released a very interesting article yesterday on February 27th, 2024, about how they recently implemented their AI assistant and how it now handles two thirds of their customer service chats. And some of the stats here are insane. Check this out. The AI assistant was installed for one month. It had 2.3 million conversations doing the equivalent work of 700 full-time agents. It was on par with human agents in regard to customer satisfaction. This has always been one of those biggest things that companies have pushed back on but AI is continuously getting better and better and better every single day. So it was only a matter of time before it was able to meet or beat that expectation of a human customer service agent. It had more accurate resolutions leading to a 25% drop in repeat inquiries. Customers had their issues resolved in less than two minutes compared to the 11 minutes previously. The AI is available in 23 markets, 24 seven, and can communicate in more than 35 languages. It's estimated to drive $40 million in profit for Klarna in 2024. Uh, what? Chat GPT, dude. When OpenAI popped onto the scene with GPT-3, late November of 2023, it set the internet ablaze. Everyone went crazy for it. And that only continued to compound into early 2024 when they released GPT-4. When GPT-4 was released, that was kind of the big aha moment that a lot of people, including myself, had. And that's when I posted a lot of my first uh, videos about AI on YouTube, about how to create custom chatbots and how to create custom AI solutions for your business. And so many other people did this too. There's people that popped off and, and had great success. There's Liam Otley, Liam Evans, bunch, all the Liams, Brock Messerich, another good notable one. As soon as I launched Stammer in early 2024, and started having sales calls and conversations with agencies about AI and everything that was going on in the industry at the time, it was pretty clear that we weren't able to actually get across the concepts of what AI could actually do at that time. But everyone was asking was like, what e even is this stuff? How does this stuff even work? What is it even capable of? And what's really interesting is the conversation has had three clear shifts in the style of conversation or in the questions that people have been asking. And it's a clear indication that the market is growing and everyone is learning about this stuff all at the same rate, essentially. So the first big question that everybody had on their minds was what is AI? And like I just explained, the difference between content generation AI and conversational AI, all of the apps that started coming out to help support these two different offerings 
really started to help make things clear on which side of the coin that you wanted to be. So for example, on content generation, Mid Journey, Dolly, Eleven Labs for voice, ChatGPT, Sora, Jasper AI, Copy AI. All these content generation apps are essentially just a wrapper on top of ChatGPT with some sort of prompting going on in the background. So for example, there could be a content generation AI platform that generates personalized emails and you could feed it some sort of data and then it would generate a personalized email. All that essentially is, is a custom prompt that is wrapped around the information that you're providing it. That information is then packaged up all together. It's sent to OpenAI. OpenAI generates the response. The response is then given back to you as a user. And this is like the very basics of what content generation AI and what everyone kind of was exposed to with ChatGPT. But then things took a step further when ChatGPT4 was released. And that's where all these conversations really started to take a turn towards conversational AI, where the focus was on customer service, sales co-piloting, document recall, custom knowledge base, custom chatbots, custom personalities, AI agents with functions, scheduling appointments, generating leads, extracting data from conversations. The list goes on and on. And we have to remember at this time, everything was still so new. And it became extremely clear, extremely quickly, that the way people were going to make money Money with this is actually going to be through this conversational AI piece and not necessarily through this content generation AI piece. And so now people started to have this idea of, oh, for my friend's business or for my client, oh, let me try to make customer service chatbots. Let me make a custom AI chatbot for my business. Or And this is pretty much exactly when the conversation shifted again from going from what is AI to how do I build and use and sell AI to my clients? After getting this question so many times and explaining it, I decided to make this graphic to help illustrate what I was telling people. And to explain it to you really quickly, essentially there's a user and an AI agent or an AI chatbot. This AI agent is going to be loaded with all of the business information, which is the knowledge base. It could also be loaded with questions to ask the user or with specific functions like being able to know what your availability on your calendar is. Once the AI agent knows all of this information, it can have a normal conversation with the user where the user could ask the AI agent a question and the AI agent will respond with an answer. Or vice versa, the AI agent can ask the user a question and the user responds with an answer. Just like you would expect in a normal conversation. <laughs> And so the power of this really comes into play when you're building this out for a specific business. The quote unquote aha moment that I have had, that many other people have had with ChatGPT, you also get that aha moment when you see a personalized demo of an AI chatbot answer questions about your business with information about your business. And this is the aha moment that collectively we are all searching for as agencies when we're trying to sell this AI stuff to a business. I don't even know how it got that information. <laughs> this is so cool. We're trying to get this business owner to have this aha moment in their head so that way they see the value of all these things that they can have immediately at their fingertips. This will be interesting because I even mentioned it. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then got it from the shit because I put it. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, all right. So, what else what else was in that in that text was was there anything about location sorry um that's good dude and that right there is the aha moment that we're all collectively trying to go for and i did say that there was a third and final shift in the conversation and here it is once people started realizing that they could build these custom ai chatbots on a lot of different platforms a lot of agencies not only tried us but they were trying a lot of other different platforms and so the conversation shifted for the third and final time to why is one platform better than the other? I can't tell you how many calls I got on where agency owners were telling me how they went to BotPress or VoiceFlow or any of these other more programmatic builder platforms and tried to create a simple AI chatbot with a custom knowledge base where it had a custom prompt where it could have a conversation with a customer. And they were telling me similar to this small little piece of uh, screenshot right here that just to build this simple AI chatbot with a custom knowledge base, you had to create a ton of different infrastructure. You have to connect this thing to this thing, which then connects this thing to this thing, which then all of a sudden turns into this crazy big spider web flow platform, which becomes complicated, super confusing and fragile, especially at scale. And this is one of the things that a lot of agency owners told me is that when they would build these complicated 
sophisticated systems in BotPress or VoiceFlow and then try to run thousands of messages through them always fail. And it kind of makes sense because these are legacy builder platforms. These are builder platforms that were not meant to work with conversational AI. They were meant to work with this more step-by-step -step approach, which really was the only way possible to have this type of conversational quote unquote AI up until OpenAI came onto the scene. And when OpenAI came onto the scene, BotPress, VoiceFlow, and all these other platforms tried to catch up and add AI into their system. But unfortunately, their systems were not built for conversational AI from the ground up. So each little module within their builder is an AI piece, which leads to the same exact problems that you have at scale. Everything becomes complicated, confusing, and fragile. Not to mention that they don't really have any sort of white labeling features. They're billing on the typical, you know, we bill per user seat. They don't have any sort of rebilling options. So you don't necessarily make money from every message or response from the AI. There's no Stripe integration. So there's not a real way to easily sell any of this to a client. And so basically all of these problems are what Stammer AI is solving for. We built a fully white label platform that you can create custom AI chatbots with a knowledge base from the ground up. So you can see I can log into my white labeled version of the platform and everything has changed to my brand. I can easily create custom AI chatbots about any business. I can upload custom information via copy and paste. I can upload documents and PDFs. I can scrape a website. I could add custom questions and answers. I can customize the appearance to whatever I want it to be. And I can embed and share and sell this AI chatbot to basically anybody as much as I want and make as much money as I possibly can. And the cool thing is, so can you. If you're an existing agency or if you're just getting started with your agency, you can sign up with Stammer, add in your information, and then completely white label and rebrand the entire SaaS platform as your own and then resell it as your own. You can create your own subscription packages. You can connect your Stripe and sell additional chatbots. You can sell additional credits. You can basically control and use this platform as your own without having to deal with any of the problems that some of these other platforms lack in, so to speak. So one of the main reasons why I wanted to share this information now, almost a year after this entity was created, is that we have so much real world examples of agencies selling this to businesses, businesses actually using this stuff and benefiting from it, that agencies are starting to share their successes. And so in one of our weekly office hours, every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. PST, we have an open office hours where anybody can join, free or paid users, to come ask questions, hear about new system updates and features, and hear from successes from other agencies that are also selling AI chatbots and AI services to businesses. And listen to this. Normally, I was at an, uh, an on-site meeting with another client today who we run five websites for. And I did a demo of the bot in the meeting again with the MD of the business. And straight away, it was just like, yeah, we've got the tick to go and put five new chatbots across five new websites. <laughs> there you go. So it is it it. really, if you can get in front of people with the product and you can do the demo, however yeah. raw that demo looks, even if it's just like a straight, the, the embed on the page, it's enough. Mm -hmm. It's enough with their data to, to show them how it works. Have you done the demo where you just create the bot based off of like their website and then use the share link and then just use that landing page share link as the demo? Yeah, that, that's even more powerful. They wet themselves when I see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's better just to go in with like a pre a pre-trained bot. So I'll have scraped their site, maybe found some uh, sales brochures or whatever and put that into their uh, their knowledge base. Okay. So that it's like done so that we're not having to go because a lot of people are not always interested in the technical setup of it. They want us to do that technical setup. Yeah. If they are interested and you show them that the speed of that process, it's like, boom, because it only takes two minutes, three minutes to do. So you spend less than five minutes creating a personalized demo. Then you get on a meeting with the client, show them a personalized demo. What's like maybe like a go-to question that you position or... Or how do you kind of introduce that so that way others can kind of have an idea of how to approach this? It does depend on the type of business, but if it's customer facing, then it's normally about, you know, how they can basically have customer service on their website 24-7. Okay. That it's like a fully, you know, educated 
person within that within so just to recap what he said personalized demo question and answer customer service chatbots are more than enough and having that personalized demo for that aha moment inside the meeting that you set up with the decision maker is the way that you almost instantly sell this stuff to a business how do we replicate this this graph will be linked down below so you can download it for free but very quickly the essential things that you need to do and focus on are generating leads scheduling an appointment on the first meeting, you're going to show them a personalized demo. So you need to make sure that you're collecting their website. You need to figure out something about them during the process when you're scheduling that appointment. You need to show them a personalized demo to have them have this aha moment. You need to reinforce that aha moment with real world examples. And you can use a calculator. You could use some of those examples from Klarna like, like we showed earlier. You could even use a slide deck to kind of show some other examples about how this stuff is going to work for your business, for this business owner specifically, which then leads to you going going for the sale, creating and positioning this irresistible offer. I typically like to do a, you know, typically there's a normal $2,000 setup fee, but if you purchase right now, we'll waive that or move that down to 500 bucks. And then you're only paying the $500 a month or whatever that monthly fee is that you're charging for your AI chatbots for this business. And then hopefully you can convert them on a call. And alternatively, you can convert them on a follow-up email after you send them a follow-up sequence that could show them more value or maybe even position it as a FOMO offer. But it's extremely clear, and I can't stress this enough, it's the personalized demo on a meeting is what is actually selling this stuff to businesses. So if you're an agency and if you're struggling, I would really focus on this piece of the entire funnel. I love engaging with new agencies and helping them figure out their pricing, their offer, how you wanna structure this, your niche. There's so many different things and pieces that could go into the creating an AI offer for an AI agency. And I wanna help you out personally. There's gonna be a link below to the public Discord as well as a webinar that's coming up in the next couple of weeks that you can join for free and learn from me and my team and a few other agencies who are successfully using Stammer AI to sell AI chatbots to clients and be able to go over any questions that you might have. Acceleration is here and it's time to take advantage of AI before you fall behind. What are some of your favorite AI platforms that you've tried? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.